burden on is that he's gotten actually really close to beating Venya. And then, like, he dies at, like, 20 or 30%, like, turned into due to people. Right, right. But if he does as well as he claims he does against Greninja's in general, I wonder how he's going to fare versus Adi's Greninja. Let's see, I know uh, all of the uh, the New York Greninja's play just a little bit different. Enough to, like, really throw off uh, a game plan considering how fast Greninja is. But you could always come to expect the same tools, you know, down tilt and dash attack, there. Right, you can expect falling there, falling falling there, bears off stage. Yeah, the whole frog gauntlet is something that's not particularly fun for Zelda. A character who, no matter how aggro you want to play the character, still always needs a little bit of space just to set up those good tools, like the Phantom. Which, uh, Phantom be gone! Yeah, Phantom is going to be really hard to set up for Zelda, because any time... Zelda is seen charging Phantom. If Greninja's within Shuriken range, he literally just throws a Shuriken, and Phantom got wasted as a duel, and Zelda ate a little bit of percent. It isn't much. It isn't much in neutral, but it's a little bit of percent at out of time. It's a tick. Right. It's also just that idea that you're removing Phantom from the equation with very little effort. Right. And it's such a pivotal tool for helping Zelda control space and even confirming kills sometimes. That is true. Okay, down flip up smash, fight the crew. We are struggling. I don't know if that was the right DI. I feel like he went a little too straight because he went to the right instead of the left. Okay, we got a forward smash on deck. Yeah, that is. Adi playing this matchup super patiently. Yeah, I feel like if he gets a little overzealous, he'll die early. Because Greninja, while being a very strong character in neutral, he is very light. Whoa. And there are things like that that could happen. Um, overall, I think the slow pace and just with punishing Zelda and then shurikening whenever, whenever Phantom comes out is just is the play here. I mean, it's right. been working for so far, but ZTN basically tying it up. Thirty-five percent can get racked up pretty quickly if uh, ZTN gets himself set up. But on the same note, Adi already just pushing all that stage control he has, been able to run away with the control of the stage. I just want to mention that Pivot Grab grabs from the other side of the platform. While Greninja doesn't have a good frame data grab, his Pivot Grab is humongous. And then he almost got a Shadow Sneak kill at like 60, because that move has a ridiculous amount of bad. No, yeah, that was OD. It was definitely the read. He called, and he got punish on Nehru because of how delayed Shadow Sneak is. I think it's like frame 28 on release. Okay, it was shut up, Zelda. All right, shut up, Greninja. <laughs> All right, shut up, Greninja. Oh, he dead? Ooh, no. Oh wait, yeah, he caught him out of he caught him out of his jump, I guess. All right, nice snipe from ZTN. Treats to the ledge, weighed out the invincibility. And I feel like if he if he tries to go for something cheesy, he could be able to clutch this before Adi can bring back the deficit. But right now he's just being ledge trapped. He's not even getting room to try and get back. Adi wa was playing the ledge well. Now we have a situation. Oh, man. Knight into F-Smash is generally good coverage at ledge. You don't want to get hit by Knights. You get up, and then F-Smash lingers enough to hit you. ETN with hard retreating game right now is working out really well for him. All that space on Kalos gives so much room for a character like uh, Zelda to just set up any type of safe game plan. But, you know, Grinage is fast. He can make up a lot of that ground pretty quickly. Oh, get there right we go. In. That's the confirm. Past, you know, past up smash percent, you start having other windows of percent that you can do, and that was a full hop up air. Even though Greninja takes a little bit of uh, precision, he is not short of any uh, kill confirms. Yeah, if you have precision, you definitely have kill power with your character. Oh my god. Princess heals really hurt sometimes, don't they? Okay. Th that one actually wasn't true. Yeah, no, he, looked like he only got hit by the second hit, yeah. like when the swords come down. Nehru's could have been mashed to get out. Okay, nice job. Dash attack actually beating up the other match in that scenario. Oh, oh why are we taking it in? All right, good recovery choice. Oh, great. I get to go play on stream again. Oh, man. That is a definitely punch to the jaw. <laughs> With your toes. Princess toes hurt. Like I said. Apparently, man. I think he also got that on a very short character, too. Which is yeah, most people don't realize that even though Greninja is like fairly long, he sits super low in most of his animations. So it makes him it's like, almost like a hit. Yeah. So props to ZTN for actually getting the sweet spot kick in that scenario because the window to actually land it is tighter because Greninja is closer to the ground. Right.
All right, does the frog stick around for another round? Yes, it does. Ninja. All right, and if I call, we picked into town. Three, town it is. Two, now, one, if any either go. of these people lose, losers automatically get scary for wherever they are. Oh, that's a fact. All right, nice Nehru's to beat out uh, down to its follow-up option. Yeah, no, that's not true yet. Down air definitely combos really well at later percents, but early on, you're asking to get punished. Ooh, that DI. A little scary. Yeah, Adi's just rushing into all these hitboxes right now. He's asking his ETN to deal that safe damage. All right, gonna get a back air. All right, nice uh, attack into Bear. Oh, that was nice. That's a little way to get back on. All right, we could already see that he's slowing down his play. He's definitely looking for an opening rather than just rushing in now. All right, got a little confirmed there. Oh, the moment he slows down, he opens zero to none up for 70%. That's crazy, man. It just goes to show like how aware of a player Odyssey is. Like, yeah. he, he literally got bopped for 100%, and then he was like, let me slow down. And then he just read zero to none a couple times. And now he's just running the gambit on ZTN. Look at this, already 59% built up. He's even trying to hunt. Oh, this is scary. I'm surprised. That was a good call out. I, though I am surprised. Yudernon actually didn't go for the rising dare on a straight up recovery. All right, back air. We got a platform reset. We're definitely. Oh my god. He fell out. We lucked out. We got hit by two hits of bear instead of three. That was super fortunate for ZTN. But he's still taking all this damage. Ooh. Nice, nice reversal. Nehru is definitely the answer to get out there. Oh, he had a conversion. He dropped it for Nehru. Yep. We're both still alive, I think. Yep. Long arms. Oh, that's scary. All right, still gets the up smash. These platforms are like just the perfect height for Greninja to get everything he wants off the of Yeah, the, the middle platform converts for up smash really well. The other platforms will convert for, you know, fair and then frame trap if they air dodge because they air dodge land. Ooh, look at that. You saw that? He air dodge landed onto the platform to shorten landing light. To shorten the time to actually convert into grab. That was cute. You'll have to see the spicy move. Oof. God, are we looking for kick? Are we looking for the toe, the heel? Oh, of course, 90%. <laughs> Yo, Nehru's saving lives right now. No, oh, he's just throwing it out. All right, down to bear, definitely confirmed now. Ooh, that's nice connecting. We are definitely uh, making mistakes right now. Ooh, we're right. pressing all the buttons, and that's why we're going to game three. Seems he's gonna shake his head a little bit. Man. Slowing, slowing down there, definitely the answer. He ran in for one stock, got bodied, and the moment he slowed down, Zero to None actually fell apart as like as a player, and Zelda the character stopped functioning. Right. Which is funny to see that you you would think Zelda has the uh, the reputation of being a bit more on the uh, the slower side, but Zetian, known as one of the more aggro Zeldas, uh -huh. sort of getting hard bodied by that classic play style. That being said, though, I know he is capable of slowing down his own play. So I would like to see a little bit of that. But I don't know how much of it we're going to see as he's picking into Battlefield. Really good stage just to put all the buttons out on. But honestly, that can be set for both characters. Yeah, Greninja is still, as a character, he still gets his dash attack up, up smash confirmed. This is one of the platform stages where down tilt up smash definitely does work. He gets dragged down up airs that create platform tech chases, which are even better for Greninja, or like they're just as good for Greninja as tech chases on the ground, but limited movement instead because you're on platforms. I feel like there's benefits for both characters here. All right, a little bit, little bit of a combo and uh, a sour. Got a flat heel or something. You know, if he managed to get the uh, the pratfall out of there, I think an early percentage he has uh, a chance to do that. That early heel could have given a lock. Nice Ooh. back air conversion. Ooh. All right, big call outs now. Short hot fair. That's one thing Greninja's really good for, like, really needs to utilize on this stage. Rather than just going for full hops, you can short hop and not go over these platforms, so you can get, like, relatively well-landed nares and fares with that. Right, the sharking potential for Greninja is so good on this Ooh, stage. Ooh, he caught him. He caught him, not the iron. Nice little call out. Even if this isn't out of pools, you can't be slipping playing against most of these guys. You know? Right. 
is definitely not where you want to be. Whoever loses, you don't want to be in that bracket. Oh, no, no. It's like a miniature shark tank for every pool. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, one of them has a bloodthirsty shark right now. Like, I mean, and then you've got fresh off the boat, Bankai. Yeah, and he's not going to be happy about being loser. So that was definitely a nice half tilt. Um, we're still alive because that did not connect properly. Oh, back throw, not killing. Finally, he resets the situation. Right. Definitely what you need there. Okay. <laughs> nice early night. Oh, he killed oh, himself. Oh, he went too low. All right. Let's see. Pressure's on. He's got Zelda at high percentage. Honestly, he just needs his confirm to net this, but that's a whole stock to make up. All right. Attack. Get back. Neutral reset. Turn around grab. All right. Uh, all right. Sliding F tilt this good ninja. I, mean, was I don't see that one a lot. It looked like a, a mix of bad DI and also the move being fresh as all can get out because you never use that move, really. Nice mix up on the jab. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't know if we want that trade, but we're definitely getting some percent. Yeah, putting out heavy buttons right now is probably, like, not a bad move for Roddy. He needs to put damage on the board quickly so he can try to make some of this uh, comeback happen. I mean, right now he's doing pretty good at netting percent without taking percent. Nice. And just like that, we are even. Like there wasn't even an SD at this rate. Zero to none definitely felt that. You could see it beat the player camp. He was like, really? Character. <laughs> oh, my God. Phantom getting him out of the way of up there. All right, no up tilt there. Doesn't actually control. Ah, uh, the end place for her as well. Roll through. All right, not necessary. Wow. Sweet spot, actually hitting Greninja there. That is a pretty safe best match. Yeah, if spaced properly, like ZTN can get away with that scot-free regardless of character. And Greninja doesn't really have out of shields to begin with, so it's definitely tough. All right, we're gonna see a third. Oh, we are definitely oh. shook. Oh, that was definitely a nice little wait. Wow, no way. Nah, definitely nah, ready to DI this time. Greninja is literally one hit away from death, though, and Zelda is probably a hit and a confirm away. Nah, yeah, give it one good confirm, oh and that's going to be that. But Adi, he looks like he's being a little scared right now, does not want to approach too heavily. That's it. Nope, not he quite. He got dragged down in, and that gave plenty of time for ZTN to get that good DI in. But now it's one touch and it's death. Yep, both of these characters are one touch out. It's the option. Put out another phantom, reset the situation. All right. I appreciate that Adi's starting to run away now. He's taking advantage of all that speed. Yeah, he may, he may as well. Oh my god, we saw two up smashes just now, a back throw. What was that? Turbo. Oh, no, 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 no. You ever have one of those junky ass GameCube controllers as a kid and you push the glowing red button and then when you push <laughs> a button, it comes out like 30 times a second? Yeah. Oh. About that. Oh, that was, all right. Uh, Stretch, you got to play on stream next. Yep.